no more just driving around searching for things i've managed to spot one of the hardest things to find in the bush the animal with the most perfect camouflage and as i said to you earlier i was hoping to find a chameleon we have one now he's a beautiful chameleon he's not particularly large and this is called a flap necked chameleon it's the only species that we get in this area and he's come out he's just sleeping at the moment he's actually not really going to do much this evening at all they normally just come to the edge of the branches to rest and then they and then during the days they're slightly more active but he's beautiful it's quite a big one and they've got the most incredible so hard to see because he's hidden behind the leaves but actually before we even get there let me show you how i spotted this chameleon so you're going to see look how dark it goes don't don't panic right i'm going to quickly show you how i spot this chameleon so look how it's completely disappeared and then watch when i shine my light over it can you see how there's that sort of flash i don't know if you can see it but with my eyes I can see a flash of white and silver, if that makes any sense. So I'm just turning volume up again. Look at that. Sorry, Alice, please may I have that question again? And he's just sitting there perfectly still. Won't be moving around too much at all. Now, Destiny, you're wondering, what is the smallest mammal that comes out at night? Hmm, probably the little rodents and maybe bushveld gerbils or the elephant shrews, something along those lines. Uh, that would be my best, probably my best get, guess, but this chameleon doesn't eat anything like that, in case you were wondering what chameleons feed on. But like I said, it's not going to be doing too much eating this evening. It's just resting, but they'll catch grasshoppers and flies and ants anything they can really get their tongues on but it's holding on very very tightly can you see those little legs are wrapped nice and tight on that branch <laughs> now aiden you're wondering if chameleons can see 360 degrees i think almost because he's not moving now he seems to be like i said fast asleep but sometimes we're lucky and we get to see their eyes moving around they can move up or they can move backwards they can move forwards whether it's a complete 360 degree degrees i'm not 100 percent certain but they can definitely see a lot better than you and i can and it's important that they have eyes that can move around because not only are they trying to spot prey but they're also trying to avoid things that would want to eat them so out here nothing is safe you get many different animals Oh, let's very quickly go across to Ellie.